Hello cheapskaters, I'm Kath Armstrong, creator of the Cheapskates Club, where our goal is to live life debt-free, cashed up and laughing. If this is your first visit to our channel, welcome. And if it's not, welcome back. Have you heard of the movie, They're a Weird Mob? It's an Australian movie. It was made in the 1960s. And it's about different nationalities and how they get along. Well, I think people are weird. You might find that perfectly normal. But, you know, some of the comments on our videos show this or on our Chiefscapes Chatter page, that's our Facebook group. And then, of course, there are the people who meet me down the street or at a function. Some of them are definitely weird. Truly weird. Now, a couple of weeks ago, Hannah and I met a cheapskater in Costco and she was just delightful. She was excited to talk to us. It was fun to bump into her as we went up and down the aisles. It was really fun. I love to meet new people and I love to chat. No surprise there. But then on Tuesday of this week, I had to go out and a couple saw me. And they were mm, middle-aged, I suppose, and they recognised me. And then instead of saying hello, they chose to almost stalk me and make comments about what I was doing, what I was buying, what I was looking at, what I was putting in the trolley. Truly. And they weren't quiet or polite or respectful in their conversation either. Now, frankly, I think they intended for me to hear what they were saying, and that's okay. They're entitled to their opinion as I'm, in, as I'm in, entitled to mine. That's hard to say. But it reminded me of a very similar experience from a few years ago. Back then, it was a middle-aged couple too, so maybe it's something to do with age. And they were rather snide and rude, but not to my face but rather behind my back, about a metre behind my back in the supermarket. So I want to say to the couple today and everyone else who thinks that living debt-free, cashed up and laughing is a life of misery and deprivation and that we are mean skin flints and we don't have any joy in our lives, please don't feel sorry for my family. There is absolutely no need. Instead, I'd rather you turn your sympathy, such as it is, to the families that are living with the stress of debt, who are struggling to make ends meet, to the couples who work non-stop to pay the mortgage because they bought above their means, to the mothers who work not because they want to, but because they have to keep food on the table and the lights on, to the children who are growing up in daycare because their parents have to work. They spend more time at daycare than they do at home simply because their family can't survive on a single income. And to the people who've never learnt to control their spending and so spend their lives a slave to debt, I can assure you that, yes, I am a cheapskate, but my family has never suffered for it. Our children were educated in private schools. They all played sports. They had music lessons. Hannah had art lessons. They were always well-dressed, often in brand-name clothes and shoes if they wore bought clothes. Our children always had Christmas presents and birthday gifts. They always received an Easter egg, usually with new pyjamas and a book. They didn't miss out on school photos or school excursions or camps. They all went to youth group at our church and participated in the various activities, including camps. They had birthday parties every year until they turned 18. And after that, they had a 21st birthday. That you know, the party was celebrated here at home. 
both our boys completed university without any debt at all. They own their degrees clear, outright. They don't have to pay back the government. Hannah trained and qualified without any debt at all. Our children had their mother at home when they were home. I was able to drop them at school and pick them up in the afternoon. I was able to help out in the classroom and the tuck shop and go on excursions. We always managed our family holidays. We live in a home we like, in a suburb we chose because we like it. We're now a two-car family, my daily drive and our four-wheel drive that belongs to Wayne. We eat very well, better than a lot of far less frugal families. My family hasn't suffered because I'm a cheapskate. You might think they have, but they haven't. Instead, they've had things and experienced things that they never would have if I'd had a different attitude towards money. We made a deliberate decision to change our attitude to money. We took a long, hard look at our lifestyle and we realised that there were lots of things we didn't really enjoy or want that we were doing yeah, just because other people were doing it. And those things were costing us money. So we made the decision to ditch the things that weren't important to us so we'd have the cash to enjoy the things that are. And 27 years later, we have not regretted that decision once. It was important to us that one of us, as parents, would always be available to care for our children. It was important to us that we spend time together as a family, doing things that would make lasting, happy memories. It was important to us that our children have the education we wanted them to have. It was important to us that we create a family home we wouldn't want to leave. Have we made sacrifices? I suppose so, if you call not eating out or having takeaway every week a sacrifice, or perhaps not having to pay um, for fancy phones or tablets or having expensive um, subscription TV. Maybe you think owning our cars and driving them for years instead of updating every two years or every time a new model comes out is a sacrifice. We don't. Perhaps shopping for quality pre-loved clothing is a sacrifice to you. It's not to me. I still remember how proud AJ was as a, no, he was about 15, to have billabong jeans that he picked up for $12 from the op shop. The same style was still selling at Osmosis for $110. He was so excited. He'd saved $98. He had to work hard as a 15-year-old for his money. So you can bet he was excited. Maybe you feel it's a sacrifice to eat home-cooked meals prepared from scratch with fresh food and ingredients. My family loves my cooking for the most part. <laughs> And they can tell when something isn't homemade and they let me know they don't like it. But perhaps you believe the biggest sacrifice is to live within your means on a budget. If that's the case, then you haven't yet realised that you should control your money. It shouldn't control you. So please, please don't feel sorry for my family. They are happily living their best lives. And I'm pretty sure that if they knew about you, they would be feeling sorry for you. Before I go, thank you for watching, if you've made it this far. If you're not already a subscriber to our channel, click that subscribe button underneath me and then the bell icon next to it. Because we have loads of videos, almost 300 videos, and they're all about living life debt-free, cashed up and laughing, and how it can work for you, wherever you are in your frugal journey. Subscribing to our channel helps YouTube, but more importantly, it helps our channel to be recognized more easily 
And the easier it is to find us, the easier it is for other people to realise that it's perfectly okay to live life debt-free, cashed up and laughing and that it is absolutely possible to do it even in 2022. Happy cheapskating, everyone.